Ooh, what a beautiful day. Hey, you know, uh, walls are not the only thing falling around here. Blue board, two inch blue board. I was curious where that had gone because I've bought uh, a, a bunch of it. Two inch for it to go under slabs for heated garages. It is no longer available. You cannot get it. It's been banned in the state of Vermont. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why is the question. They've, they've been concerned about some environmental issue about something that's been used for a long, long, long time. It's a great product. They're, they're allowed to sell it till they've used it all up. So it's not that bad. Unfortunately, the new product that they want to use is more money. If it sets in the sun at all for a day or two, it curls. So that's just going to be great to work with, not. We'll go back to the shop just for a minute and uh, you can see the pile of, of foam that we have that we can use. And to my way of thinking, it's a better product. So I'm glad we got it before they fooled around with stuff. Here it is. Uh, this is no longer allowed to be sold in Vermont. If, if the lumber yards have it in stock, they can use that up, but they have to replace it with a newer product that's the same R value. It just has a couple of drawbacks, of course. It's more money and it it's, uh, has a tendency to cup, is what I was told. If it's left out in the sun, it can cup. It's just another thing for a contractor to deal with. This stuff is fine to use. Uh, on the jobs that we have and the state is fine with it so we will use it I prefer this over the other product already and I haven't even seen it the word cup just doesn't sound right for something that you want flat so here we go we'll just um, keep keep on putting one foot ahead of the other <laughs> all right so I'm so glad we got got that uh, locked in at what we bought it. I think it was forty dollars or something per sheet The new stuff is going to be more But it's just one more thing to look forward to huh? Uh, lumber prices Are flat right now. It has it hasn't changed for a few weeks a two by four is still around here is uh, an eight-footer is two uh, eight dollars and a quarter something like that Plywood is still up there, $82, $83 for 5.8 CDX. Doesn't look like that's going to change, I don't think, because we're in June now. We're coming into hurricane season. That's when plywood typically skyrockets. <laughs> How can it skyrocket more? It's already skyrocketed. Anyway, I, I'm sure they'll figure out a way to do that. Uh, lumber, it sounds like it's going to go down within a couple of months, three months, and not significantly, probably, I don't know, maybe 30% uh, less, which is not much when it's gone up 400%, but at least it's headed down in the correct direction. So, this is, we're going to put T111 on here today and get this all tied in. When that wall came down, uh, it was because we had not, well, we don't typically secure it into the concrete until we have all the walls up. That way we can make sure everything is perfectly straight. We'll make sure it's all square. Then we secure it to the, to the concrete with using uh, anchor bolts. They're a split, split wedge anchor bolt. We'll do that after we get the T111 on and everything looks nice and straight. Okay, so hope you enjoy the short video. It's just kind of an update on, on uh, something that's it's kind of a big deal as far as the foam insulation. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Please, uh, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Feel free to make a comment. Thank you.